Welcome guys, today we will see uh, how to detect patterns using ArcGIS Pro. For this we are going to use special analysis like hotspot and outlay analysis. As an introduction, the statistical cluster analysis can help us to minimize the subjectivity in our maps by identifying meaningful clusters in the data. So uh, the hotspot analysis and outlay uh, analysis tool uses the statistics to determine or detect spatial patterns in our data so but uh, each provides slightly different information about this pattern so we are going to use these two uh, special kind of uh, analysis in order to detect the pattern in our data so uh, from these two the hotspot analysis tool uses the gits or the gi statics type to identify the statistical uh, statistically significant spatial clusters or high values like hot spots and the low values which are cold spots in our data or in the distributed data and the outlay analysis tool uses the unseen local morons uh, first statistics to identify the statistically uh, significant clusters of high and the low value and to detect the spatial outliers or features with uh, values that are uh, significantly dissimilar from the uh, neighborhoods so we are going to see how to use these two tools in order to detect the hot spots and the low or uh, cold spot distribution in our data border so for this tutorial we are going to consider one scenario and the scenario says like this the Supplementary Nutrition Assist, uh, Assistance Program, which is uh, short term for SNAP, is a federal program in the United States that helps families buy nutrition food to maintain their health and the well-beings. So in this exercise, we are going to complete hotspot and uh, outlayer analysis in order to find the meaningful patterns of high and the low SNAP or Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program participation which is uh, gathered in different years. So for this tutorial I'm going to use the data that I have downloaded from this uh, USA data portal uh, SNAP data which is collected for 2019. So uh, this information or this analysis can help decision makers to uh, distribute resources more uh, efficiently and uh, equitably and ensuring that healthy food is accessible to all the uh, SNAP uh, recipients. So for this tutorial we are going to find a maximum rate of distribution of SNAP in the entire county of US. <clears throat> so I have uh, already downloaded the data and we will see how to do the uh, old spot and uh, uh, outliers or cold spot analysis. So to run the hotspot analysis, as we know, the statistical cluster analysis tool analyzes your data to detect patterns of high and the low values. So in this analysis, we are going to analyze the distribution of values that is named as uh, snap rate in the attribute of this data or input data. So which is the percentage of uh, eligible people who participate in the snap program in each county so uh, in this uh, job processing pane under this uh, search uh, field click on this toolbox tab so then expand the spatial statistics tool then uh, expand the mapping uh, cluster tab under this click on this optimized hotspots spatial analysis then uh, the hotspot all the spot uh, or opt optimized hotspot analysis tool opens in this uh, geoprocessing pane. So in the geoprocessing pane, use the following parameters. Uh, our input will be the USA county, and our output will be as SNAP hotspot, or we can rename it as we need. Then the analysis or analysis field will be uh, the SNAP rate. So here we are going to use the uh, entire county, and we are going to analyze. The distribution of this snap for uh, entire county <laughs> so under this expand the overlay uh, setting so the optimized hot spot analysis tool uses a fixed distance band to uh, define each features neighbor so if you do not specify a distance the tool or 
the software uses uh, incremental spatial autocorrelation to determine whether uh, there is a scale or distance at which uh, clustering across the data set is most pronounced so if the optimized hotspot uh, analysis tool cannot identify a, a, a distance using this method so it will compute uh, the average distance that would yield around 30 neighbors for each features so uh, you can read more about this uh, analysis on the ArcGIS Pro training portal so uh, the fixed uh, distance band meter can be uh, used to define features neighborhood neighborhoods so you can simply run by uh, keeping the default value and then we will check it uh, the later so click run <coughs> So uh, the result of your analysis is a layer displaying a uh, hot spot in three shades of uh, red and uh, cold uh, spots in three shades of blue. So uh, the varying shades correspond to three confidence intervals indicating how confident you can be uh, that uh, these patterns are not the result of random chances so we got uh, these maps from the default uh, distance value so uh, next we are going to review the analysis parameter so uh, next we will review this analysis details to ensure that uh, the parameters were appropriate for our uh, analysis of uh, SNAP participants or participants so at the bottom of this geoprocessing pane, click the view details to check the history of the processing. So the optimized hotspot analysis tool message will uh, appear here. So listing the tools, uh, geoprocessing steps in detail. So uh, click this message and uh, then review the geoprocessing details. You can see uh, how much number so far, how uh, the distance used to calculate the uh, hotspot analysis so the tool chooses the default distance band of approximately uh, around 150 kilometers based on the average distance of 30 uh, nearest uh, neighborhoods so this default value is a good place to start exploring our data but it, uh, it may not uh, represent the scale at uh, which your uh, we want to uh, analyze patterns in our data set. So in this example, around 150 kilometers distance band is too large uh, because we want to uh, analyze more local patterns in the SNAP participation. So we will reduce the distance band to 75 kilometer to detect uh, more local patterns in this uh, county level data set. So this value depends on the your types of analysis again your input data and the size of your uh, analysis area so close this uh, optimized uh, hotspot analysis tool message window then uh, in the two processing pane <coughs> expand this overlay uh, setting if necessary so under the distance band uh, in the left uh, hand field or uh, next to this one type uh, 75 we are going to use 75 kilometer for uh, hotspot analysis so uh, in the once you have filled your uh, value and check the unit as kilometer and rerun it uh, again So uh, reducing the size of the distance band identified more uh, detailed patterns. So this scale is more uh, appropriate for this uh, particular analysis. So you have to define or determine the total uh, maximum size of band uh, distance band that you are going to use in order to uh, do this analysis based on your input data against the size of the analysis. So to interpret our result, or next we are going to interpret the result of uh, this statics or uh, hotspot uh, statics analysis. So in the content pane, you can locate this uh, output, which is snap hotspot and uh, the layer that we have used to uh, calculate or uh, detect the pattern. 
So drag the USA layer or this one above the snaps uh, hotspot layer. So if necessary, we can expand the uh, this hotspot <laughs> layer to see the legend. So the result of uh, this analysis or statistical analysis provides a measure of confidence that can help us to identify areas with clusters of high uh, snap participation. So simply from this hotspot analysis, one or decision maker can understand where uh, maximum number of or high snap participation were in the uh, different years of uh, data collected for different uh, years of uh, analysis or for different years of uh, collected data. So you can use this information to uh, investigate this area and uh, their access to uh, stores that accept the snap and the carry healthy foods uh, distributions so this is all about uh, my today's tutorial we have seen how to do the hotspot analysis to determine or detect patterns where uh, maximum number of or high uh, snap participation exists using the usa data or snap participation data for 2020 uh, 19 so uh, see you in the next tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see how to run the hot the outer layer analysis and we can also see uh, we will see also the uh, 3d analysis so uh, see you in the, the next tutorial uh, thank you for your time